Alexander Dyson, a research analyst at Strategic Coin. Think made these comments in a Bloomberg TV interview explaining that he is a proponent of the potential of digital currency and blockchain technology in particular. Although he believes the markets are currently far too speculative and owe their increasing trading volume to international money laundering operations. Fink mentioned, Related to cryptocurrencies, I'm a big believer in the potential of what a cryptocurrency can do. You see huge opportunities, but what we're talking about today, it's much more of a speculative platform. People are speculating on it, he said. In a separate interview with Bloomberg TV, BlackRock ETF chief Mark Weedman stated that the fund provider does not currently have any plans to launch a Bitcoin ETF. Weedman explained that the firm only offers products they feel comfortable encouraging clients to hold in perpetuity. And Bitcoin does not meet that requirement. He added that he believes the purpose of exchange traded funds is to provide investors with access to assets that are difficult to obtain otherwise. If Bitcoin is ever successful, why would you need an ETF to access it? He continued. Both Fink and Weidman indicated that BlackRock clients have not expressed demand for crypto finance products, aside from investors who are actively involved in venture capital and other speculative markets. Other investment firms, however, state that their clients are very interested in crypto finance products and services. Fidelity recently added Bitcoin tracking to its online investment platform, while Goldman Sachs has begun publishing technical analysis to help investors capitalize on movements in the Bitcoin price. Moreover, while iShares may currently have no plans to offer an ETF that tracks the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, several other fund providers, including BanEck and ProShares, are laying the groundwork for ETFs that will trade in Bitcoin and futures contracts.